Okay, let's give the late model drivers a big round of applause, everybody. First time on the track this year for this feature event. So we've got eight starters tonight and starting back in eighth position making his comeback to racing. He's out of Owen Sound for Russell Fencing and Dex. Let's hear it for Derek Russell. Starting in seventh position tonight, Driving car number one out of Terra, driving Stan Wright Wilderlers. Let's hear it for Caden Wright. In sixth starting position, in car number 71, he is from Durham, driving for NTN Bearings BCA, Strike Energy Systems, NTN Garage. West Gray Auto Parts, uh, Two-Speed Motorsports, Dave's Auto Body, Elevated Warplane Safety, CM Precision, General RV Repairs, Nickel Insurance, Epic Racewear, Forrester Plumbing and Heating, and Eastern Overhead Doors, along with Ibby Traps and Caldercott Millwright Services. Let's hear it for Corey McAllister. In fifth position tonight, out of Owen Sound, driving car number 18 for Mark's Automotive, Beagle Run Nursery, ARC Landscaping and Excavation, k, &K Lawn Care and Pest Control, Kibbles Detailing, Bud Ryer Chevrolet, Texas Exhaust, Platinum Concrete, Mike's Plumbing, and Beyond Reach Productions. Let's hear it for Nick Hamill. Your next starter tonight, driving car number 57, out of Owen Sound for Richards Auto Service, Mike Barber Masonry, Graham Construction and Elmer's Flighting Service. Let's hear it for Austin Finley. Starting third tonight, driving car number 10 out of Southampton for Graham's Family Car Quest, Gray Bruce Sod, Sogging Shores Transmission, Foss Construction, Gingrich Service Center, Tom Gibbons Concrete Finishing, Lighthouse Restaurant, and Image Wraps. Let's hear it for Tom Gibbons. Starting on the outside pole position tonight, driving car number seven out of Owen Sound, driving for McDonnell Fuels, New Generation Racing Engines, Lynn Canada, Noble Truck Bodies, Crown Rust Control, BAT Hydrovac. Let's hear it for Ty Cavlin. And on the pole tonight, out of Oro Station, driving the 10S for Elmer's Fighting Supply, Shellswell Racing, Paragon, Track Office Furniture, and Auto Trim of Barry. Let's hear it for Gord Shepard. Ladies and gentlemen, the lineup for the Pro Late Model feature tonight here at Sobel Speedway, the 25 lappers. This is the second one of the evening. Dave? All right, crowd, you can join in. Ladies, let's get them going. What do we say? Drivers, start your engines! So the motors have been sounded, 25 laps, the final race of the Blast of the Beach, day two. Gord Shepard on the pole. Ty Cavlin, outside pole. Tom Gibbons, Austin Finley, Nick Hamill, Corey McAllister, the one of Caden Wright, and the 36 of Derek Russell. Ready to go out there for 25 laps. A lot of money on the line for these guys tonight. Gord Shepard, one of the winningest drivers in late model history in Ontario. This guy has been around a long time and picked up his share of track championships. 
a lot of winds at the old Berry Speedway, Sunset Speedway, and throughout the province. The seven of Ty Cavlin, started here at Sobel Speedway in a junior late model, went on to a bone stock and eventually to a late model, and is one of the upcoming young drivers. Then you've got the veteran, Tom Gibbons, former track champion here at Sobel Speedway. Winner here earlier tonight. 57, Austin Finley, a racing family. His dad, Kevin, his sister, Savannah, all race. We go back. We have got the 71 of Corey McAllister, the defending champion in the Sportsman Series here in Ontario, defending Pro Stock champion over at Sunset Speedway. And Corey is out of Durham. The one of Caden Wright, former track champion here at Sabo in the late models. And we have got the number 18, Nick Hamill. Nick Hamill, veteran driver, former uh, worker here at Sabo Speedway that made racing possible from uh, 2007 all the way to 2017 when he was the right hand to Jason Tom, the previous track owner. So there we have 36, Derek Russell, former racer in the junior late models, ran in the All-Star Series along with his dad. Uh, his dad raced here as well. And uh, we have uh, Dean Russell, Derek Russell's father, used to race, and Dean working on the car in the pits for Derek. Ed Allman also working on that car trying to make it a successful night for Derek. So Gord Shepard starting up front. Ty Cavlin, Tom Gibbons, Austin Finley. Folks, this is going to be good. They've been sitting around for about three hours. How has the track conditions changed? Last time they raced, the sun was out. Now it is dark. The handling may be different. The setup may be gone that they had before. We'll see what will happen when this one gets underway. Drivers now about to double up. They're cleaning off the tires. Gord Shepard, Ty Cavan, Tom Gibbons, Austin Finley, Nick Hamill, Corey McAllister, Caden Wright, 36 of Derek Russell. Derek got through the first race. He has not been in a car for years. He's a little bit nervous going into this tonight, but uh, we assured him there was very good drivers out on the track that he would be able to handle it, and so far, so good. So eight cars about to take the green. Looking for the white flag this time by. White is out. Gord Shepard, Ty Cavlin, Tom Gibbons, Austin Finley, Nick Hamill. Here we go. Green is out. We're racing. Off in racing here at Sobel Speedway. Shepard on the inside. Todd Cavlin gets away in the seven car. Cavlin in seven. Shepard in the ten. Then we've got Tom Gibbons right behind. Gibbons won the first 25 lapper. Down the back chute they go. It's Ty Cavlin out front. Gord Shepard second. Tom Gibbons in third. Then we got 18 Hamill, 57 of Austin Finley. Corey McAllister in 71 and Derek Russell in 36. Ty Calvin was able to get the lead on lap one. Now he's trying to keep space between he and Shepard. Shepard has to be concerned with Gibbons. 
in the tank car. And Gibbons putting the pressure on Gordon Shepard. It is Cavlin up front. Shepard second, Gibbons third. In fourth place, it is the number one of Caden Wright. Derek Russell in 36, up past the 18 of Nick Hamill, trying to stay ahead of the 71 of Corey McAllister. McAllister gets into Russell, and McAllister gets by. 18, Hamill, 57, Austin Finley. But up front, it is Ty Calvin with the lead. Calvin, your leader. Then in second place now, Tom Gibbons, who got by Gordon Shepard. Back in fourth place, it's Caden Wright. Corey McAllister on the move now. McAllister up to fifth. Then we've got Derek Russell, Nick Hamill, and Austin Finley. Right now, the field is getting lengthened out. Seven Cavlin with eight down, 17 to go, has the lead. Number 10. In second place, that is Tom Gibbons. The 10 with the green on it, that is Gordon Shepard. Then we go back to the fourth place car of Kate Wright, fifth place, the 71 of Corey McAllister. And now you can see Ty Calvin's brakes are starting to heat up. The seven, the rotors are hot and he goes in the, out of the corner. That's Calvin being pressured by Gibbons, but the young driver is holding his own so far. Calvin in seven, Gibbons in 10, and Gordon Shepard in 10 as well. 11 laps complete, Ty Calvin your leader. Tom Gibbons second, and Gord Shepard in third spot. The heat being applied to Ty Cavlin, but Cavlin holding his own. Cavlin, your leader, Gibbons in second, and Shepard in third. Now, Cavlin just left the door open, and Gibbons takes advantage, and Tom Gibbons takes over top spot. Halfway, 13 down, and 12 to go. Tom Gibbons leads it. Ty Kaplan second, Gord Shepard third, Caden Wright in fourth spot, and Corey McAllister in fifth. Then we've got 36, Jerry Russell, 18, Nick Hamill, and 57, Austin Finley. The top three have broken away from the rest. 10 laps to go, 10 remaining. It is Tom Gibbons out front, Ty Kaplan in second, Gord Shepard in third. Then Caden Wright, followed by Corey McAllister, Derek Russell, Nick Hamill, and Austin Finley. Now Shepard gets on the inside of Ty Cavlin. And Shepard about to go to second, and he's got by Cavlin. So now it is given Shepard, Cavlin, Wright, McAllister, and Russell. Eight laps to go. Tom Gibbons trying to make it a big payday. He won the first 25 lapper, and now he leads the second. Gord Shepard in second, Ty Kaplan in third, Kate Wright in fourth, followed by 71, Corey McAllister in 36, Derek Russell. Tom Gibbons just put a lap on Nick Hamill, and now Shepard trying to do the same. Ty Kaplan in third spot, Kate Wright in fourth, Corey McAllister in fifth. Five laps to go. Five remaining for Tom Gibbons. Gibbons at the front. Shepard in second. And Ty Cavlin in third. Then we go back to the one of Caden Wright and the 71 of Corey McAllister, followed by the 36 of Derek Russell. Four laps to go this time. Four laps. Tom Gibbons in 10. In second place, Gordon Shepard in the 10. Then we got number seven, Ty Cavlin. His brakes are red hot. Back in fourth spot, it is Caden Wright, followed by 71, Corey McAllister and Derek Russell in 36. Laps are winding down, two to go. Tom Gibbons, Gordon Shepard, Ty Cavlin, Caden Wright. Followed by Corey McAllister, Derek 
Russell, Nick Hamill, and 57, Austin Finley. White is out. One to go. Final lap. Tom Gibbons tries to make it two for two tonight. Tom Gibbons into three. Out of four. Down the front for the checkered flag. Tom Gibbons wins it. Gord Shepard second. Ty Kaplan third. Followed by the one of Caden Wright. The 71 of Corey McAllister. The 36 of Derek Russell. Followed by the 57 of Austin Finley and the 18 of Nick Hamill. Tom Gibbons, two for two tonight. What a night for Tom Gibbons. What a night of racing. All right, come on over here. Let's have a quick chat before everybody leaves. Two for two tonight. Car was working great. Kid was giving you a battle at the front, though. Yeah, Ty, he's a, he's a good racer. Gord, that was good. It was fun. Nice, clean race with those two. But Car, I think it was a little better in the first one than it was this one. Well, that's... Uh, it, but you're talking about bringing the other car maybe once in a while. Yeah, I got the uh, my other car at home. I haven't raced it in two years, so I might bring it for a race or two this year and have some fun with it. All right. Sponsors before everybody walks out of the building. Uh, we got to thank CarQuest, Port Elgin, uh, Graber Sod, Sogging Shores Transmissions, k, k Pest Control and Lawn Care, Ganger Service Center, Foss Construction, Tom Gibbons Concrete Finishing, Lighthouse, Image Wraps, and Graham Driving Service. And then my family, of course. Yeah, it takes a family to make a race car go. Give Tom a nice round of applause. Your winner, double winner tonight for the Sobble Late Models. <laughs>